Today we're going to open up our entire books and share with you how much our 50 states trip costs in total. A beautiful family, we have the Jurgies. Probably seen them all over the internet. Today we are shining the DBL spotlight on adventure while having a little fun along the way. Leaving buried treasures across America to inspire others in an RV. This sounds so cool. State by state in an RV and you're burying treasure. Explain. <laughs> Welcome back, and if you're new here, we are the Jurgies. We are a full-time travel adventure family. We get asked this question a lot. How much is it costing you, or how much did it cost now that we've finished on this 50 states trip? Make sure you stay tuned because we will be sharing at the end what it would have originally cost if we did not have a YouTube channel. We legitimately saved tens of thousands of dollars. And before we get into it, we want to thank today's sponsor, H&R Block. At the end of this video, we're going to share tips how to help save time and money while you're doing your taxes. And we're also going to share how we were able to write off most of our entire 50 state trip. That's right. So let's get into it. First topic. <laughs> Pretty much the main expense of our trip because we couldn't have our RV. So we're gonna round just a little bit, a few dollars here and there, but in total, the cost of this RV was thirty-eight thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's our first home. Less than 8,000 miles mm -hmm. when we got really it. Really good condition. Then we added about another three thousand dollars on our RV renovations because this thing was ugly. We had money saved up and we put down $9,000 for a down payment so that our monthly payments would only be $266 a month. This is actually our home that helped facilitate the 50 states trip and it's where we made our second baby. So, worth yeah, it. about that. You see it? Whoa, dang. That's like, yeah, that's, in, that's, that's, that's like past a WNBA regulation. That's a, <laughs> that's official size now. So with the RV, there are ways that you can save even more money. Just really spend the time looking. Once you make the decision you're gonna do it, we, it was hard to like not bite at the first few and to really keep looking. So it feels like you're just in a normal truck, but then look at this. Our advice, find a really good dealer that you trust. We have had friends that have gotten trailers or RVs and then more problems came after. If you need to have a mechanic mm -hmm. come out and check everything out for you, mm -hmm. do it because I think that's where we save costs. Yeah. Our RV was in such good condition that we legitimately didn't like have any problems. We did get a warranty on ours. Also, there are really good financing options for RVs. You don't have to pay that much per month, which is great. The next category we're gonna hit, which is also a big deal. I just really like the funeral, even though it kind of hurts. <laughs> is fuel. Total cost for fuel was $8,400. It's a lot for gas money. We but also, why? Yeah. But why? We drove a lot. We actually did go back and forth to the U.S. about three times. When we were on the East Coast, we decided we want to be on the West Coast with family for Christmas. We did a Christmas charity drive. Many of you actually helped us out. Thanks. But also another thing that added to the cost of gas. Um, before you hear this, comment below how many miles per gallon you think this RV gets. Okay, now tell. <laughs> This rig gets about seven to nine miles per gallon. This is nuts. Just Ooh. <gasps> the first time you gas up when your when your payment stops at a hundred dollars and you're like, whoa! Here's a few ways that we saved money. We saved over six hundred dollars by using the proper credit card. We researched to find which ones would be best for fuel. Also, memberships with grocery stores that have gas stations as well. You can save up to a dollar a gallon. We did use a couple apps that helped to plan our trip more efficiently and to find the cheapest gas stations as well. If you want more specific tips on that, join our Facebook group, put a link here and down below. It's hashtag we the adventures on Facebook. We have a community there of like-minded adventures and travelers. If you have any questions like, hey, what would the credit card be? Or what should I do for this? You'll get an answer promptly just by posting in the group there. Next cost, we're doing this. Yeah, let's just do it every time. Loud, that does, uh, it does oh hurt. Man, I know, maybe we shouldn't do it anymore. Campsites, RV sites. So our total cost for campsites throughout this trip was 4,120. Keep in mind, this is over 20 months. RV campsites cost on average $30 to $60, mm -hmm. depending where you stay. First off, to kind of give personal experience lesson here, the beginning of our trip, we were in this mindset of always staying at RV sites. Like that's how we governed where we drove and where we traveled. Even if we were arriving late and we weren't hooking up, but we were parking and then leaving in the morning. 10 p.m. we're like calling the campsite before they're closing. Like, can we park there? Cool, we're leaving at 6 a.m. We're paying $35 for literally nothing. Yeah, just, just to sleep. sleep. Yeah. We then became more confident to, to find truck stops that were free or Walmarts that you could stay at overnight. Keep in mind, this can save you money. But it can cost you money if you're us. <laughs> 
that wreck happened at a Walmart parking lot overnight. But that was rare. It just happened once. Everything got fixed is actually not a big deal. We're gonna be at a Walmart. Make sure you go buy some food. We'll stay there and camp super long. Again, we only stayed at these places when we were moving fast. Another way to save costs is to have memberships with different RV parks. There's chains throughout the nation. There's also RV clubs that you can become members of where you have a card and you get like 15% off. We share more specifics of that in our Facebook group as well. Next one is insurance. You gotta have it. Muy importante. So for insurance, our total cost was 1720 during the 20 months of our trip. That's also 86 bucks a month. This actually has paid for itself already. Insurance covered that and it was good. Our deductible is $100 for collision and $200 for comprehensive. Health insurance as well. For us, the important thing was we needed health insurance that would cover us anywhere. So we didn't have to worry about in-network hospitals or going to the right facilities to get the discounts. To keep it simple, our premium has been $450 a month. And that covers our whole family. Anything that's $500 or more, they cover 100% of that. So this new baby. Morning. We actually do have a video talking about our health insurance, so if you want to look that up, please feel free to do so. And moving on to probably the most ridiculous category we have to talk to you guys about. Tolls like, and parking fees. You guys. <laughs> if you're smarter than us, hopefully you won't have any cost with tolls and parking fees. A lot of times we didn't even know we got them. Like we would get to a place, <laughs> I highly suggest downloading a truck map app or something mm -hmm. because we'd get to a place and it would honestly just be like too late. We'd be like getting off the entrance or wherever on a road and we could not turn around. We had nowhere to go. That's the look of stress right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see these cameras like <laughs> taking pictures of our license yeah. plates. Something took her picture. So we'll probably be getting a ticket in the mail. Our tools and parking costs were $330. <sighs> Which is a lot for tools and parking. <laughs> Okay, food. It was 500 bucks a month for us. We stayed to a budget, so in total for our trip was $7,000. Sounds like a lot, but 500 bucks a month to cover our family, and also that covered dining experiences in states. Nelly did amazing with meal planning, and we weren't eating like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. No, and we just, ate really good. I yeah. meal planned for the week, because you know, we don't have a lot of room, you guys. So oh. you can eat healthy and live an RV life, I'm just saying. So good way to save money there is to meal plan. Moving on to our next category, adventures and excursions. Versions. Our total cost for this was $2,000 for the entire 50 states. The entire 50 states, you guys. And that we went it. ham. Because of our channel, because we've made videos for brands or excursions and experiences, we saved over $36,000. And we felt like we should clarify that with you because we don't want you to think, well, I can do all those things and they only pay 2,000 that they mentioned earlier for their adventures and excursions. The drive a tank experience that we did, that alone cost $4,000. Yeah, but it was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it was so cool. But it didn't cost us because in exchange, we made a video for them. We provided them with social assets and helped fulfill their needs. So it's not like we're just like, hey, we're YouTubers. We approach brands and say, what are your needs? Can we help fulfill your marketing arm? Be a videographer for you. Can we produce content to actually save you money, what you would spend if you didn't have someone like us doing it for our rate? So just to give another perspective, yes, we save that much money by working with with all these brands and excursion places, but it's also like we worked for that money mm -hmm. because we still had to work and edit and emails and mm -hmm. all this stuff that took a ton of time. We created a business that thrives around travel and adventure, and that has been amazing. If you think about it, most of the stuff that we've been able to do because we were promoting companies, we were able to write off a lot of that. And we just share that not to be like, check out what we did, but to be like, you can do this. Because we wanna make sure we're doing things proper by writing off the right things and all that. Tax season, that's on our minds right now. The most <laughs> wonderful time of the year. With H&R Block's Tax Pro Go, it makes it so much better, guys. It's a virtual mobile-friendly platform on your phones, also on desktop. Basically, you sign up, put who you are, your situation, lock in your price, you upload your documents, that's it. Boom, that's it. And the expert takes over. So you don't have to like walk into any like accountant's office. You don't have to do any of that. Be there in person. If you live like us, you have super busy lives or you live in an RV. Mm -hmm. This has been so, so helpful. Literally watch Netflix while you upload documents from your phone and let someone else do all that busy work for you. So dreams are made of <laughs> watching Netflix while <laughs> yeah. you're getting your taxes Make done. it the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> and lucky for you guys, we actually do have a coupon code. You get $20 off if you wanna 
you know, do taxes with H&R Block. Which yeah. Is pretty cool. Next category, laundry. A lot of people ask that actually, which is a great question. Many RVs, not many, but some have washer and dryer in them. Mm -hmm. We don't. Most RV sites mm. have laundry facilities. There's so a few do your times. Friends. <laughs> yeah, your friends. Those were free, hopefully. We don't shower, or bathe, or do laundry either. So that cost was <laughs> total cost there was a hundred dollars. We did wash more than that if you're doing the math in your head. But many times we'd stay with friends. It was funny, like the, always they'd offer, "Do you need a shower? Do you need your laundry?" And we're like, "We have a shower." But, but we'll take yeah. you up on your laundry. <laughs> and yeah. Treat yourself. This is our last but best category. All the splurging and doing everything we wanted to do. Yeah. One time Nelly and I were on a trip. <clears throat> we were riding on a bus train and we sat next to this elderly couple and ate dinner with them. He said, if I could give you one piece of advice while you're traveling, if you want the red lobster and it's a little more pricey, get the red lobster. And I think there's, there's wisdom to that, but you also got to be smart with your money. He <laughs> said it and just kind of nodded and it was like, he was telling you to buy me a red lobster. <laughs> That's what he was saying. You do need to allow budget to enjoy or try to plan for that. So here's how ridiculous ours was. Our was. Over the 20 months, it was actually less than 500 bucks. But we went big. We got massages just once. Just me. Nelly did it. Um, we went to the movies. Just Bryce did. Just I did. Just once. <laughs> I just went alone. I went to see Endgame while Nelly and Evelyn were in a safe and secure RV park. It had just come out and I, we work on the internet and I was like, I, I can't see spoilers. I gotta go see it. So that was a great experience. He also cried during the movie. Alone. It That's was good. awesome. So if you haven't done the math in your head, this is the total cost of our trip. You'll notice like, wait, but the RV cost them this much. We haven't paid off the whole RV. Nope. So we've just shared with you how much we've spent so far. But the more interesting number is how much it would have cost us to do this trip if we did not have a YouTube channel. We are coming out with our course in a few weeks. I feel like this deserves another one of these. This is a big one. Over 40 videos, how to approach brands, email templates, downloadable email templates, how to start a YouTube channel, how to do the SEO, websites, how like, to taxes, your business. So much. How to grow your YouTube channel, how to get better at filming and photography. Can you imagine if we had that starting off over four yeah, years ago? It would be really helpful. But lucky for you, we failed for you guys, and so now <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah, so that's coming out in a few weeks. Stay posted on that. Thank you again for being a part of this journey and a part of our life. We really appreciate you guys, and we talk about you more than you know. Even you strange your hater comments we talk about you not the best way but we still talk about you yeah we love you guys thank you for your support make sure you like and subscribe feel free to share and please join our facebook group we'd love to hear from you peace people gave us hotels or excursions and adventures and stuff for free in exchange for us nelly sees avelyn running outside with a blanket wrapped <laughs> around her I'm my grandma's watching, don't worry. <laughs> How cute is she? Right she's now? way cute. And the wind's just like blowing. Yeah. Like she's in a I wish you guys could see this. But yeah. <laughs>